Television's Night of Nights. Sensational. Will your favourites win? Can Steve make it two in a row? The Logies, live Friday night and exclusive to seven. Buying carpet at Solomon's is as easy as one, two, three. Ho, ho! Yes, right now you can carpet any three rooms of your home for the one low Solomon's price, including carpet, underlay and laying. And you get a choice of three great carpets. Quality cut and loop any three rooms, $7.99. Wool blend Berber any three rooms, $8.99. Luxurious soft blush any three rooms, only $9.99. That's carpet, underlay and laying and you can buy now and pay in June. Save in style at Solomon's. Head for the hills to the Macedon Rangers Autumn Festival. Next Saturday, March the 14th, the Sunbury Fair and the Hanging Rock Wine and Music Festival. Brochures from RACV branches, book at Bass or ring 744-2291. Caloderma's three-step program cleanses and tones before it moisturises for deeper, more effective moisturising. Caloderma. Deeper moisturising brings your face to life. Ray's Mountain Bike Sale's on again. The 92 range is arriving, so he's got bargains on old stock you won't believe. Great mountain bikes, starting from only $179. Also to clear, boys 20-inch BMX is now $139. Lightweight 12-speed racing bikes, now $329. And many more bargains. Rush in while they last. It's a genuine stock clearance at the biggest bicycle chain. Ray's Bicycle Centres all over Melbourne and Geelong. Steve Arrowsmith, breeder of champion Great Danes, talks about PAL. For my dogs, it's a really substantial meal. You have the nourishment of meat, a good vitamin and mineral balance, and added marabone. You couldn't ask for more than that in a dog food. Open a can of PAL and there's just more chunks than ever before. The dogs really go for it. They love the stuff, they really do. I don't care where you go, you won't find a better dog food. Top breeders recommend PAL. They strive with all their hearts to cover their country in glory. They are the pride of Australia. From July 25th, join the Seven Network in Barcelona, birthplace of new legends. Presenting the Olympics TAC Insurance. Build up or suffer the pain. Mrs. Cleaver. You look radiant as ever. That sweat, Eddie. And beaded very nicely, I might add. Uh, how's my crack crew doing in your basement? They haven't shown up yet. They're three hours late. I don't get it. They get all the way to the United States from Honduras in a three-man rubber raft. But when they get here, they can't find a house a mile away. Life's funny. Well, rest assured that you'll only be paying for my time. Eddie. You were supposed to turn my basement into a playroom ages ago, and it's still a disgusting mess. If you want to make an omelet, you've got to break some eggs. Eddie, I want that playroom finished. And soon it shall be. Your satisfaction on this job means everything to me. Uh, coffee? Help yourself. I hate to mention it, Mrs. Cleaver, but when we opened up the walls downstairs, I got a look at your wiring. It's ancient. Looks worse than my grandmother's neck. I strongly suggest that you allow Haskell Construction to completely rewire. Otherwise, this place could go up like a grasshopper on a barbecue. You really think it's that important? Are you kidding? Your safety means everything to me. Not to mention the fact that I need the money for my sport fishing trip in Hawaii. <laughs> Mrs. Cleaver, you know, you really shouldn't be doing that. You can afford a plumber. <laughs> Aloha, Eddie. Out. 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 Kip, is there life after death? Ah, uh, let me think. Too late. Hey, Haskell, I paid you 25 bucks for the answers to Mr. Stewart's history test, and guess what? They were all wrong. No. Well, the only explanation is that Mr. Stewart didn't give you the standardized test and made up one on his own. Teach you with initiative. What's the world coming to? Look, I want my money back. Well, I'd love to, but my business manager's out of town and all my corporate checks require two signatures. What do you think I am, stupid? 
Come on, Bucky, I'm in enough trouble as it is. I want my money back now. <laughs> Bucky, Bucky, come on. Lay off. Freddy's a creep, but you don't have to hurt him. Thank you. Ah, you stay out of this, Cleaver. Bad move, Bucky. Mrs. Hollingsworth, your husband's estate seems to be in order. I hope that the legal and financial services that my brother and I have proposed will meet with your satisfaction. I'm sure they will. You both come highly recommended. We'll leave you alone while you make sure everything's in order. Can I get you anything? Coffee? A soft drink? Oh, my husband used to call them soft drinks, too. <laughs> He was a special man. Hey, Wally, let's head down to the go-kart track and... My, what do we have here? I lost my husband. Hey, I would check in the bar down the street. <laughs> no, he died. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, with the state that the world is in today, he's probably better off. I'm Edward Haskell, a solid businessman and a close personal friend of the Cleavers. I'm Catherine Hollingsworth. Frank Hollingsworth, old lady? Man, you must be set and pretty. I'm in the building business myself. Haskell Construction. Oh. Wood grain. You know, now just might be the time to build that spare room that you've always dreamed about. I don't know if my associates mentioned to you or not, but uh, I do give widows discounts, especially to a nasty little vixen like you. She's a real nice lady. Maybe I could fix her up with some nice guy. What about me? Okay, you fix her up with somebody. You creep! Yeah, I just set a motel at a nice coffee shop. Not for you to meet me there. a dumb plan on a Halloween costume this far ahead. Yeah, but if you wait to the last minute, you'll end up like Duffy last year, sticking a hose in his mouth and going as a vacuum cleaner. Mama Haskell! My, Kelly, what a lovely outfit you're wearing. What are you doing in town? Well, let's just say I'm laying low until I get a clearer reading on treason laws. Want a soda? How much? You insult me. No one pulls coins in my town. For the cleavers, it's on the house. Thanks. Hey, what's that? <laughs> Let him run. We'll see ya. Here, take these. I'm not as thirsty as I thought. I'll see ya, Bomber. I can't believe Bomber gave us his sodas. I guess he's not the creep everyone thinks he is. There you are. Caught you red-handed, you little thieves. Huh? <laughs> Kip Cleaver, I can't believe it. Suspended a week for fighting. Grandma, it wasn't my fault. One of Freddie Haskell's grand schemes backfired, and I paid for it. Well, your father's not going to be very pleased about this. Well, then why tell him? He needs to teach him a lesson. I say we torch his truck. The truck didn't do anything. I say we torch Eddie. <laughs> what did Eddie Haskell up to now? Catherine Hollingsworth was just about to sign the contracts, and Eddie waltzes into the office and charms her. Boy, that lady had some grip. I thought his head was gonna pop. I just gotta kill her, finish him off. We got him ready for the shower. Give him some more soda. Give him some more soda. Give him some more soda. Kids, hold it, hold it, officer. What happened? Uh, it seems your kids were caught accepting stolen property. What? Uh, th thank you very much, officer. Uh, we'll take care of this. <clears throat> now, would you mind running this by us again? This time, a little slower. That's exactly how I got suspended. <laughs> you got suspended? <laughs> what do you mean you got suspended? <laughs> Good afternoon, Mrs. Cleaver. Eddie here. Uh, I was wondering, have you made the wise decision to have the rewiring done on your house? I must know today, or I'll have to pay full airfare to Honolulu. <laughs> Yes. 
say, sir. I don't believe in carrying tail. Well, your dress is a very pretty dress. Oh, that Eddie has them. You know, if it has them. Hi, Mr. Lieber. Gee, that's a nice sweater. Mrs. Cleaver, that's a lovely dress you're wearing. That's a lovely dress. My Mrs. Cleaver, that's a lovely dress you're wearing. My Mrs. Cleaver, that's a lovely dress you're wearing. My Mrs. Cleaver, that's a lovely dress you're wearing. Scary, huh? Okay, son. It's time to teach you the proper way to eat Smith's crisps. Open the pack. Take out the first chip. Slowly, slowly. Been a long time growing. Into the mouth. Enjoy the great potato taste. Take out the second chip. Let's try it again, son. Smith's Crisps, the original and still the best. Yo, dudes! The latest issue of Simpsons Illustrated gives you the chance to win your very own Simpsons pinball machine. Call 0055 now. And that's not all. There's a giant poster of Bleeding Gums Murphy. Bart helps you cope with those back-to-school blues. And there's a free copy of Lisa's school newspaper. Call 0055 Play our pinball game and you could win this radical machine and Simpsons videos. Simpsons Illustrated, out now. An important message for all soy drink users. Sanitarium So Good is packed with calcium and contains nearly twice the bodybuilding protein as most other soy drinks. Compare the nutritional information on the packs and we're confident you'll buy Sanitarium So Good. After all, with soy drinks, like most other things in life, you only get what you pay for. Sanitarium, a better life through better nutrition. She just shouldn't have been overdoing things. Will Sophie lose her baby? I think she'll be OK. Yeah, you don't know that. Win in the Home and Away Mega Draw tonight on 7. Ah, good morning, popular Mayfield residents. My, Mrs. Cleaver, that's a lovely dress you're wearing. I just stopped by to personally tell you that my little worker bees won't be showing up this morning. But tomorrow we get right on that rewiring. There's not going to be any rewiring. Did I fail to mention that your hair this morning looks very much like that of an angel? Listen, Eddie, I don't know if you're aware of what went on here yesterday, but because of you, Wally and Bieber lost a very important account. 
And because of Freddie, Kip was suspended from school. And because of Bomber, Oliver and Kelly were picked up for shoplifting. Bomber's in town? Now, I should have known you were trouble 35 years ago when you and Wally were selling candy bars for the church. And you kept the money. The Lord told me to. <laughs> this house is no longer open to you. And that goes for your kids, too. Uh, did Bomber happen to mention where he was staying? I mean it, Eddie. Ever since we've known you, the Haskells have caused us nothing but pain and misery. This house is off limits to the Haskells. For good. Boy, did somebody get up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Mr. Haskell, Freddie did get me suspended from school. Hey, when I was your age, I used to charge kids for that. <laughs> ah, good morning, Cleaver's son number two. Bye, Eddie. Hey, not you two. You can't do this. Think about our kids. Oh, I am. Well, fine, if that's the way you feel. After all I've done for you. What have you ever done for me? Plenty. Like what? Well? Hey, I know. What about that time when you were a little rat and you spilled that baseball glove oil on Wally's jacket? Who bailed you out then, huh, Squirt? That's all you can come up with. <laughs> and don't ever call me Squirt again. Don't forget your jacket. Oh, hi, Kelly. Hi, that's a lovely outfit you're wearing. It's Mr. Haskell. What are we gonna do? We'll wait it out. He won't stand out there forever. Why didn't you open the door for your Uncle Eddie? Eddie, look, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you're no longer welcome here. Hey, I can understand that sort of nonsense from the beaver, but not from the beautiful wife of my best friend. I know I say that to Lumpy's wife, too, but... I, I don't, don't mean it. it. You know me too well. Listen, tell Gerd I'm sorry, but one day she'll wake up and leave you, and then I can see her again. <laughs> Get rid of him. Hey, Wally! Buddy! Tell you what, why don't we skip work today? Oh, we'll hoist a few and we'll shoot some pool. I'll let you break. Look, I can't see you anymore. I know it's hard, but try to understand. What is this? The airport scene from Casablanca? Yeah, I stuck up for you. But the more I tried to defend you, the more I realized that Mom was right. I got your favorite, Pez. Great. I'm sorry, Eddie. I just can't pal around with you anymore. Uh, why not? Uh, just because your mommy says so? <laughs> Eddie, you messed up the biggest account of my life. Is that all our friendship means to you? Wally, you remember fifth grade? We became blood brothers. Yeah, you cut me with a rusty knife and I had to get a tetanus shot. <laughs> Fine. Who needs you anyway, Jack? And you know something? I don't think your mom looks as good as everyone says. <laughs> hey, Uncle Wally. What's going on? Uh, nothing much. Hey, what are you doing home on a Saturday night? I thought that you and Freddie always went to the... Uncle Wally, it's been three weeks. Don't you miss Mr. Haskell at all? Why should I miss him? He's two-faced, unthoughtful, insincere, dishonest, and cheap. Yeah, I miss Freddie, too. <laughs> you know, Kip, sometimes I'd be working like crazy in my office, and Eddie would barge in, begging me to go down to the track or go have a beer. Ah, I got too much work to do, I'd say. Next thing I know, I'd be throwing back a cold one and yelling at horses. Sometimes I'd have to pull an all-nighter just to get the work done. <laughs> but it was so much fun, it was always worth it. Yeah, Freddie's the same way. Except the part about the beer. <laughs> Boy, I sure know how to enjoy life. Yeah, even if they ruin yours in the process. Yes? <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, who are you calling? It's not that son of a beaver, Kip Cleaver, is it? No way, sir. Kip. Kip who? Don't kid a kidder. I don't want you calling that low life. I don't see where a mere phone call could hurt, sir. You pick up that phone, I'll show you where it could hurt. <laughs> sir, Kip's my friend. I miss him. You're weak, boy. What have the Cleavers ever done for us? Well, Wally was best man at your wedding. Mrs. Cleaver brought food over every night after Mom had her accident. Yeah, and did she ever once offer to wash a dish? <laughs> We're an odd bunch at best. If you tolerate us, you won't understand us. The Cleavers are the only friends we've ever had. All I know is that they've besmirched the Haskell name. I don't care if I ever see them again. Who needs them anyway? We do. Did you know your brother was in town? <laughs> I think it's under control now. I wonder what happened. I tried to warn you about the faulty wiring, but my expertise was ignored. Oh, Eddie, I'm sorry. I didn't believe you. I just thought you were trying to get extra money out of me. After all the kindness that the Cleavers have bestowed upon the Haskells, yeah, I better be going. Eddie, wait. You saved our lives. And my snow collection. I thought you got rid of those. I would have done it for anybody. Well, maybe our paths will cross again someday. Eddie? Eddie, I did you a terrible injustice, you and your family, by kicking you out of our lives. Mom, think what you're saying. A true friend accepts a person's frailties and imperfections, and he likes them in spite of them. Eddie? We made a mistake. Can you ever forgive us? I don't know. The, the Haskell feelings have really been put to the test. It's something I'll have to think about. I thought about it. Apology accepted. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, let's see what happens in the house. Welcome back, friend. I've uh, missed you a lot over these last three weeks. Has it been that long? <laughs> hey, Mr. Haskell, tell Freddie can take my date out Tuesday night. <laughs> Dad. Operation Amigo was a glowing success. Yeah, the smoke canisters really did the trick, sir. I haven't seen that much smoke since Uncle Arnie wanted to get out of the clothing business. <laughs> You're the best. Truer words were never... Freddie, I can't believe you'd stoop to this. Nice try, Eddie. You're not going to tell anybody, are you? No, I guess if you'd go to all the trouble to burn down our house, you must really like us. Thanks. And I promise never to call you Squirt again. Yeah. Well, remember the time you fixed it with Wally when I spilt the glove oil on his jacket? Oh, you bet, Squirt. Uh, Theodore. We're even. <laughs> 
son, what do you say we go get a man's breakfast? Hey, Peeve, would you care to join us? I said we're even. <laughs> Give me that. Hey, kids, don't go away. There's plenty of cartoon fun next on 7 with Agro's Cartoon Connection, followed by everyone's favourite talking horse, Mr. Ed. At 9.30, stay tuned for The Book Place. Heaps of fun to come here on 7.